Happy Friday, everyone. And welcome to another edition of Lambda News Blog. I'm Christopher Warner. Today's top story, U.S. Supreme Court Justice David Souter has announced that he intends to retire in June. National political analysts are speculating on who might be President Obama's nominee for Souter's seat. One key possibility is Stanford Law School professor and dean, Kathleen Sullivan, who is also an out lesbian. Miss Sullivan is known for her work with presenting important and powerful briefs to the Supreme Court for LGBT rights. Such briefs include Bowers v. Hardwick and the most notable Lawrence v. Texas. Other possibilities include Hillary Clinton, Georgia Supreme Chief Justice Leah Ward Sayers, and several others. We will keep you informed on any new updates to this ongoing change. In other news, after the debacle with runner-up of Miss USA, Carrie Prejean and her anti-gay remarks, current director of the Miss California USA program, has put out a new statement in pro-gay propaganda in support of LGBTQ rights and in protest of California Proposition 8. Obama names Eric Goosby new U.S. Global AIDS coordinator, Goosby, who is straight, replaces gay physician Mark Dybul, who was appointed by President George W. Bush and who has been credited with putting in place the multi-billion dollar U.S. Global AIDS program initiated by Bush and approved by Congress. The Global AIDS coordinator works out of the U.S. State Department and has the rank of ambassador at large. News from Los Angeles, LAPD has arrested a 72-year-old man, John Floyd Thomas Jr., for more than 30 gruesome rape and murders of older women in the 60s and 70s in Los Angeles. According to the city of LA, he is the most prolific serial killer in city's history. That's the news for now. Enjoy your weekend, America. We'll see you right back here on Monday. I'm Christopher Warner. Peace be with you.